Okay, I'm gonna walk through steps 31 through 40 of Free Code Camp's new responsive web design's second uh, project, Learn Basic CSS by Building a Cafe Menu. Okay, so um, the first thing we're gonna do is we just made this article el um, element and we're gonna put a couple of paragraphs inside, um, or paragraph tags. Um, and again, paragraph tags are just where we put um, it's regular text. So the first one is gonna say French vanilla. So right, this is part of our menu, it's gonna say the what it is and how much it costs. So it's $3 for to buy French vanilla coffee. And next, um, we're gonna add a bunch of different article um, elements with two paragraphs inside, just like with the one that we just made. So this one, instead of saying French vanilla, it's gonna say caramel macchiato. And it's gonna cost um, $3.75, so we can just change that. And, oops, why don't we just, I'll just copy this again and paste it right there. And this one is pumpkin spice and it's $3 and 50 cents. We wanna make sure that our indentation say, uh, stays the same throughout the whole thing. So all these article tags are on the same indentation level and then all the paragraphs are indented by two spaces. So next we've got hazelnut and it's gonna cost $4. Okay, and last one, mocha. And this is $4.50. All right, next step. Here, we're gonna add another class. So remember how we added that menu class? We can do another class and it's gonna be called flavor. And that's how we can style everything that's the actual what, what type of coffee are we getting? We can style it up. So each one of these are eventually gonna get a flavor class. But right now we're gonna actually just work on what are we actually gonna to do to that flavor class. So again, we do a period and then the class name. So this is flavor. And then we gotta do those uh, curly braces. And then we're gonna just do text al align left. So now that everything with the flavor class, which is really only just the French vanilla paragraph, is going to be aligned to the left. So next we want to do, we want to style, um, we want the price to be on the right. So we're going to do add a class called price. So that's a $3. And now we're actually going to style it. So dot price. And then we're going to do text align, oops, right. And there we go, price on the right. It still doesn't look exactly how we want it, but that's what we're working on right now. Um, so the first issue that you kind of notice is like, Oh, since they're different paragraphs, they're on different lines. So on the first line, we have this French vanilla. On the second line, we have $3. It doesn't look that great. We want the $3 to be on the right here and be, to be in line with French vanilla. So we're going to actually modify this article tag. We're going to add, add the attribute class equals, and then we're going to call it item. And now each item, we only want, um, we're, right now we only want to affect items. Um, so things that have the item class and then, um, so the article, we open this index.html, um, inside this article, um, in these article tags, we have a paragraph and another paragraph. So we want anything with the class item, and then we want the things that are inside whatever has that class item to be the paragraph. We don't actually wanna affect the article, we wanna affect each individual paragraph tag inside of something with item. So um, it, the, Right, this explains a little bit more. It says you can style all the paragraph elements nested inside, nested anywhere in elements with a class named item. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do display inline block, okay? It's still not exactly how we want it, but it's a little bit better. They're on the same line now. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a width element. So we want everything, we want the French window to take half of the screen and we want, um, the three dollars to take the other half. So the flavors takes left fifty percent, and uh, price takes right fifty percent. So we'll do width fifty percent. Oop, let's add that uh, semicolon, and then we want this also to be fifty percent. Okay, so that doesn't look like how we want it, right? Um, 
That's because uh, when we use an inline block, it's actually using a little bit more than 50%. So what we're gonna do is do 49% and 49% so you can get them both on the same line. And there you go, done through steps 31 through 40.